Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial we will work together on this technique of the granny square. It's really really nice and, and, and you can see it gives a uh, diamond structure of our uh, granny square. Now we begin with a normal granny square. I work it here on the first two. I just want to tell you but you will see the then in... Um, and the tutorial how to work it but just want to tell you that I work it here without the chain one space in between the groups of three and then here I work it with the chain one space and uh, it's because it was too uh, too tight and it curves so if you have this effect and as I said before now you will see in the tutorial how to work it and what am I talking about now um, you just work it with a chain one space in between or maybe uh, you just begin with a chain one space in between the groups of three double crochets okay so this is it this is mine I actually work it as a as you can see as a tablecloth and I am really really uh, happy with it this is I have a round table and it's really really great and I also put my um, this is not important. I also put uh, my lantern here and it looks really really great but you also have the photos on my Facebook page so you can see it for good. Now I just want to let you to the tutorial. Happy crocheting! So to make this uh, blanket or uh, tablecloth or as you can make as many things as you want so it can be a pillow, it can be anything you want, um, even a pot holder if you want to. I'm working with cotton yarn for uh, suitable for 5 mm hook. You can work with any kind of yarn, acrylic, uh, cotton, wool uh, and any kind of uh, weight of yarn. Now I will begin, sorry, I will begin with the magic loop and with a uh, normal um, granny square. So into the magic loop I will chain three and then I will put two more double crochets for the first group of uh, three double crochets. Then chain three and three double crochets for three times. more so I have my three groups more here of double crochets and to finish I won't chain uh, three but I chain one yarn over insert hook into the third chain of the beginning chain three and work into it a double crochet and we will always finish like this the round now to begin another round we will chain three and two more double crochets for the first um, group of double crochets. Then I don't chain in between the groups, only into the corner. So I skip into the next corner, chain three space and I work a corner. For the corner we work three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. And three and then I will skip into each corner I will work into each corner a corner and this is the second row round sorry I will be back to show you how to work uh, the third so we will work on the side two into the third so I finished almost finished my second round chain one and again one double crochet to finish in the middle and to begin the third round it's exactly the same one two and three 
and now I will work on my side too and as on the side of the square not mine uh, and of course uh, as I told you I've, I've told you before uh, now I can show you I am working I will work sorry in the middle of my granny of my sorry uh, three double crochets so I won't chain in between the groups so the only chain that you have to work in this pattern oh, this is let's say my way of working not only mine but uh, it's the chain three so when you work the corner now I will finish this round I will work one more we need to work six rounds for the central granny square and then I will show you how to work the triangles actually and I will work one more round and then I will be back just to show you how I change colors now as I promised I'm back I finished four rounds I have two more and these two more I want to make it uh, to work them with uh, another color and now I want to show you how to change color one two three I finished with the group now chain one yarn over insert hook into your third chain of the beginning chain three if you can I don't know why I can't now what okay and work your double crochet now pinch here and we have to undo this last double crochet and chain one put the crochet hook again and cut the yarn where you pinched now take your other color and Mickey knot. I have a tutorial on how to do this knot or how to tie this knot. I will put the link below and into the screen actually on the right side. It's like this. Keep them firmly and pull. And now, guess what? I changed the color. So now what I want to do is to chain one again and to work the double crochet and look at it. I'm ready to begin and I'm ready to begin with another color. Okay, so all that you will have is just a little knot. No ends to wave in, nothing. Just a little knot here. Okay. Now I will continue on with this new color for two more rounds and then I will be back to show you the most difficult part of this lovely design with granny. Okay? I finished my six rounds of the granny square one two three four five six I got the yarn and now I am just ready to begin with actually the pattern so as I said it's the most difficult part of this and it's the most important and we will work on each side a triangle actually on each side and we will connect them and you will see let us begin now it must be a um, even number this uh, the round that you stop it must be a even number round on a on a side one two three four five six because we will work in the middle in between the two groups of three double crochets and they have six so it's just perfect now I will begin like this uh, here it's the middle I will begin into this uh, group one two three into the third so it's here and I will chain one and work one single crochet here like this okay 
and now uh, I want to yarn over insert hook in the middle and work a, a corner so three double crochets chain three and three more double crochets and three now I will skip uh, this one two and into the third I will work again a single crochet then I will chain three and into the third always into the third of the next group I will work one more single crochet chain one and turn now skip the chain three that you work and in between here that you work your first single crochet here under the group of three work three double crochets and this is the second round now again into the corner work the corner two three chain three and again one two and three okay now again exactly as we worked here we work here so under below what can I say uh, here into the space uh, created by the single crochet and uh, three groups of three here you will insert hook and you will work your group of three and into the second round so into the first round actually we worked only the corner into the second round as you can see we also put added on one side and on the other side of the triangle we added one more uh, group of three now to finish we will skip into the third of the next group of three double crochets one two three and we will single crochet we will chain three so exactly the same thing that we did before and we will insert hook into the double crochet like this we will chain one and we will turn and this is what we have for now now let's continue on with the third um, round we will work exactly under the last group of the last around so here we skip the chain three we insert hook and we work our first double crochet one two and three uh, first group sorry of three double crochets then we will go on and uh, work the round as a normal round one two three now into the corner we will work the corner obvious chain three and again one two and three we will go down and we will work exactly the same thing one two three now let me just show you how it looks so far this is what we have okay and now again I will work under the last here the last group of the second round exactly as I began here oops my hook so exactly as I began I will work here my last group of three and one two and three okay now as you can see into the third round we have one two three on one side and one two three on the other side into the first round we had one and one second round one two one two third round one two three one two three let's go on with the fourth and the last round now exactly the same as we did before we will insert hook into the third 
double crochet we will single crochet into it chain one and turn now we will not only chain one but we will chain three and again under the group of three of the last round it's here here into the space we will work two more double crochets for our first and now we will continue on working one two and the corner let's go on one two and three with our groups again into the next in between the next two groups one two and three into the corner of course we will work the corner one two and three chain three and again one two and three of course you can change yarn here too i showed you how so if you want to you can do it okay so this is what i have and this is what i i, I must have now i just want to continue on and to finish just to show you how to work and this is what you have to repeat on the other three sides one two and three now we are here at the end and we will work exactly as we did before in between so under actually in between the chain three and the last group of the previous round so it's here that we will work the last double crochet and now what we want to do is actually to chain one to secure and to cut the yarn so this is what we have so far and this is what we must have so we have four on one side four on the other side okay we leave it there and we are on the back side we want to turn on the right side and we will work it here the other one exactly as i showed you um in between one two three one two three so it's here that we will work the corner and this means that we will insert hook here okay now go on and work one more i will be back to show you how to connect actually uh here the corners the actually the last um group of three actually to create we will create a side here so we kind of switch the corner here and the side here okay now i finished my third round of my second triangle and what i want to do is to connect when i began my fourth round so to begin the fourth round we know that we chain three so let me chain three and now insert hook into the third double crochet of the last group of three of the other triangle of the first in this case insert hook into it and just slip stitch to join now we are ready to turn our work and to yarn over and to continue with other two double crochets one and two okay and we just as you can see we just connect connected the two triangles to create the side now i will continue on with the last um, row of the triangle and here and this actually is 
the magic <laughs> now into the corner I will work the corner one two three one two three and So I am finishing my last round of the second triangle and now I will cut the yarn. Here I am, I finish it, I just wanted to show you. So it looks, it, it will be a little bit uh, strange here because it's like this, okay? It must be at the end. Oh, it is like this a little bit, okay? So as you can see, the shape of this one, it's strange, will be like this, okay? But it will be okay. Now, oh, uh, this is it. So we have actually a half ready and I will cut the yarn and I will continue on with this one and I will connect it, it as I showed you before and then the last one and I will show you how to connect the last one because the last one we have to connect with this and with this. So um, as you can see it's not uh, that difficult. So I finished my third round and now a uh, row sorry of the last of my fourth and now uh, I just want to this is how it looks and now I just want to connect and we know that on the left side we know how to connect so we insert hook into the double crochet and we slip stitch we turn our work and we work more double crochets just to so if it curves this one in the middle so like this don't worry it's just normal to curve a little bit we will just fix it when we will work the other uh, rounds don't worry okay uh, so I connected it here and I will work all and I will connect at the end with this one too. I will show you. Just let me finish the round. So I am working on my last group of three and here I am. I just want to connect into the third chain. I will just slip stitch chain one to secure and now I can cut the yarn and wave in the end. Now uh, as you can see it can be a little bit so this one it seems to be bigger okay this in the middle the square in the middle so it it can uh, has this curve a little bit but don't worry it will be just fine after two more rounds that we will work so I will take another color so as you can see I don't have any um, tail uh, as I finish one triangle I just wave in the tails I have here my needle and I will do the same thing now with this one so this is my advice okay you can just continue on you will have some some uh, I'm on the wrong side so I just go on and stitch a little bit this too so you will end up with lots of yarns and tails and I don't think it's nice just do it when you have to do it and you will have a nice and clear clean work sorry okay 
Now this is what we have and now we just have to work two rounds like this normal round. So as you can see we have a new square now or these are the four corners and these are the um, sides. So insert hook somewhere in with the right side facing you in one corner, one of our four cor corners. It's your choice and chain three. Then work as we did before exactly for the granny. Uh, I will show you only how to work here. So I am working into the last space before the connection. A group of three. And here where we connected, we will work into the chain three and over this space. So like this. Oops. Sorry, I forgot to yarn over. So this is one and this is two and three. Okay, so we incorporate the chain three here too. And we will work exactly the same into the next two, three, sorry, three corners. Uh, work two rounds, actually all around the, the new square. And then we will repeat again the triangles on larger sides. And I will show you one more time how to work the triangle, even if it's exactly the same technique, but just for me to be sure that you uh, really understand this lovely pattern. So I finished the two rounds and I also went on with the other um, triangle part. And as you can see, um, as much as you added um, rounds, how can I say, so triangles, uh, becomes more beautiful uh, from my point of view. So here I have two corners. Now what I want to say, what I want to show you, it's that here we worked four, one, two, three, four, then we worked uh, two all around, two uh, rounds. And here we will work, so we, we will work one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. But um, you will know from the technique that I showed you, so it's just you have to went on as much as you have to uh, work, okay. So how can I say, it's, it's really easy to, to understand where to stop. Now here I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here in the middle I will begin, but you know that we go on the right side into the double crochet. Now what I want to show you now, I will just work my corner, at least my four rounds, because we already know how to work them from the first round of corners of, or triangles. What I want to show you actually is how to change yarn and this is really easy, whoops, it's the gray, oh, sorry, the green that I will begin with. Now I said one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, sorry, you have ten, so I will insert hook here in the middle and chain one and I will continue on. I will uh, begin, sorry, not continue on. So this is my single crochet and here in the middle I will work one, two, three. Okay, two rounds I will work with this color and then I will be back to show you uh, where and how. How you know where actually more precisely where to change color. How you know my technique already. Now well, let's say that here I actually I almost finished my second round. I want to change color and as you can see we must be symmetrical. So here I completed two over let's say two groups 
and here I have to complete with the same color over two groups so I will skip into the third and single crochet and here I have I want to stop so as you can see now we are exactly perfectly in the middle one side one side and um, it's here that I want to stop and uh, change color so I cut and and you know how I change so this is okay and I will continue on with the pattern exactly as I did before don't forget to uh, work what you have to undo so three and a single crochet and as you can see now I am ready to work my chain three and single crochet here so now at this point I will turn and work two more rounds with uh, this one with this color and then I will switch to um, this brown and I will show you then how to change color maybe it's not very clear here so I will show you one more time so but it's the idea is that there must be symmetrical Okay, so let me just show you again the same idea. I'm here. I finished here and I covered exactly the same number of groups on one side and on the other side. And now I'm ready to cut the yarn. So I finished, just want to show you, I finished the group, the last group, and I just skip and single crochet. And this is the moment, <laughs> the moment, uh, the perfect moment to change color if you want to change color. Okay, so I think I covered all the uh, important steps and uh, tricks and I don't know of this uh, really, really beautiful technique. And hope you enjoy. Thank you for following. Uh, me and uh, this tutorial hope you enjoy this technique if you work something with it I would be so happy to see a photo of your project I would be so happy to see the colors that you combine and um, what you uh, made a blanket a cushion a um, tablecloth and so on now don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos so you won't miss another one video of mine of cro on crochet, Tunisian crochet and knitting and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram so you can um, send me a photo of a project that you worked following one of my designs and tutorials I am always so, so very happy to see your version of one of my projects. Happy crocheting! See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye!